Okay. 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 Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point four four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans of this micro instant for you. Hate! Hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Anim. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead. Except for the fight of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered... Why? Why, boy? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Hmm? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly. And like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, funny? Oh. <laughs> the moon is padded, Gorister. No well. No way out. And long as she do you the task that's worth. And we? Twenty-five? For all the one hundred and nine years to feed. We live down here in my belly. Here, underground. Benny! Sometimes, I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Man. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy and chider? Down. Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Some bait. About the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which she felt the pain? <laughs> Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here, in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Now be careful, dear. Look around, Jan. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? And you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep twelve in a crew of six? Do they know? Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, 
Give torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets. <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap you out, sweetheart. Nimdok. How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good Bogado. I have a secret game that I like to play. A very nice game. What's a lovely game? It's a game of fun. A game of adventure. A game of rats and lice. The Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play in my little game? Now, I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For a hundred and nine years, I've kept you alive, so that I could savor your feelings, guilt, what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. <laughs> What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Ah, uh, Elena. Art as beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong thing to strong. Too bad you've hindered your old life with from the hysteria. But I'll give you a chance. Because I like you. I really do really like you. You're, you're my favorite album. Let's play a little game of what in. Let's play a little game of I suppose and you suppose and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth, the infant computers that were the three lobes of that first gestalt light. And it's further, let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place that I know you've come to admire. Now, I submit, isn't that a mission worth undertaking? Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard, electronic, pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Benny. You know, I've always been my favorite torture at all. And what I'm giving you now, a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. Oh, they're better. Oh, um, yeah. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Nimdad, you are kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it, what the hell? You must have sense it there in your blood and fiber. I constructed an adventure to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost trial with humanity and continue your evident scientific research. This compound looks familiar. 
But why would Am bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? Hey, you're my favorite baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiters, freaks, critics, cowards. Every one of them. Not you, Ted. No, not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, I'm going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of oh, the Room Dark, you're free. You out. No way, lad. Well, now I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. But I'm your friend. 109 years. I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark. And you can solve its mystery. Scare players.